Um, bit of a random video, but I thought I'd switch the camera on. Um, I got a parcel from today. Now I'm not one of these people to be like, I got a parcel today. Watch to find out what's inside. Um, no, this is genuinely. I got a parcel today. Um, I noticed it's from the Rover P4 Club. And I ordered quite a few things from their uh, regalia section. Um, the Rover P4, well, I call it the Rover P4 Club. It's the Rover P4 Guild. The Driver's Guild. I'll get it right eventually. This is the latest magazine they brought out. Uh, Overdrive, that's the name of their magazines. And it's always full of stuff. Full of stuff to read. I read mine on the toilet because... That's my quiet time. There's my new membership card there I need to fill in. Now I joined in, I think it's probably about June, possibly June last year. So I'm, I'm a real new member. Because um, as soon as I got a P4, that's when I joined. And the main reason I joined the club, or I was sort of pushed into joining the club sooner than I expected to want to join because I was I was going to join um pardon me <laughs> I was going to join at the um NEC I was hoping to go to the NEC and meet up with the club stand there and join there but obviously with all what's been going on with the pandemic and everything the NEC and all the shows have been cancelled and uh I wasn't planning on joining at all really until I was convinced to join so I could get a discount on the Rover badges because Jesse needed a new Rover 100 grill badge and if you're a member of the club they're only allowed oh, I think it's only about a tenner or 12 quid or something which was a bargain so I joined the club got my badge and um, and that was that. I, I've been really impressed with the, the magazine. I feel like I've been sort of pushed to do this video to um, promote the club, but that's not the case. I just thought I'd sit down with you guys and just have a look at the magazine, have a look at the box. I'll show you what's in the box. I spent a fortune, but it's all my Christmas money gone now. I mean, there's people in here showing you, you know, all their restoration. Looks like he's been recolouring the seats or something. I mean, that looks great. I look forward to reading about that. Oh, there's old factory photos in here and everything. It's a really interesting magazine. I mean, even if you haven't got a P4, I think anyone who's into old rovers and things pick pick up one of these and just have a look you know it's really handy loads of information cars for sale what we've got there at the back oh, there's a nice cyclops there for sale rover cyclops nice so, yes, magazine. Very good. You know, absolutely crammed full of stuff to read. And that's without anyone going to any shows last year. This is all people's stories. What they've been up to. There's one there, actually, <laughs> I'm very interested in. Heater valve replacement. There's a diaphragm in there. I didn't know that. I don't know if that's the same one, Jesse. Looks like the same one. Yes, yeah, so I shall be reading that. Anyway, the reason I have the camera on is to open this bad boy. So there should be quite a few interesting things in here. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not. I'm not particularly glamorous today. I've got some um, corduroy leggings on and a, a baggy t-shirt with some cats on, because I like cats. 
And without giving it away what's in the box, I'm hoping to take my top off. Not on camera though. I'm dangerous with scissors. So. Oh, oh, this is important. This is not just the regalia shop. It's the P4. I have got a list here. What do they call it? Okay, so this is the regalia and remanufactured spares list. So they've got a list of regalia and some spares as well. So I've already had the grill badge. What else have I got? I have these. Wow. I'm burping. I need my tea. You know there can't be a video without tea. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> Can you see my mug? <laughs> I made it with my bum. I bought my mum a coaster with that on. She loves it. So I should have two of these. I have no idea how easy they are to fit, but I've been told they're not that bad to do. So I've done Jessie's, all of her door rubbers, all the door seals. I've put new fur flex on all the doors, new bits of rubber at the bottom. I haven't replaced the rubber on the steps because they look quite new, I haven't touched them. But when I'm driving though, there's still wind noise and the wind noise is through the quarter light window. The little window here. Um, so these are remanufactured quarter light seals, and there's a whole blooming manual here on how to fit them. Wow. Got to remove the wood, which isn't a you know, isn't a problem because I wanted to remove that anyway because I want to revarnish it. So this is quite handy. It's going to tell me how to get the wood out. Oh. Well, that's a bit of bedtime reading, isn't it? With my new seals. What else is in the box? Oh yes, the obligatory Rover P4 pen. Couldn't be without a Rover P4 pen. One to keep in the glove box. I've got a P6, one in the in the P6. Let's check it works. Fill in my membership card. Oh, well that flummoxed me. It's a black pen but with blue ink. I even know how to write my name. It's amazing. And there you go. It works. <laughs> oh, now what, what do I open first? I'm going to open these last. I'm not telling you what they are. And then I've got two get rid of the box. Two items of clothing. So, first one here. Oh, that's not bad. I'll tell you what, I'll pause the camera, run away, put one on and come back. Hey! <laughs> this is a really nice jumper. I picked the size large because I like them a bit baggy, you know, with a jumper. And uh, it's actually a really nice fit. Nice long arms. Feels good quality. I've got this massive. Could you guys have put a bigger logo on or not? <laughs> a massive P4 
Drivers Guild logo, which is nice because it's sort of embroid embroidered. It's not just a, a stick on one, it's embroidered, which is nice. Yeah, I can see me driving my P4 wearing this. <laughs> yes, well impressed with that one. Right, I'll go and put the next one on. <laughs> there we are. P4 Polo. Massive logo again. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I'm knackered now. I'm ready for the next show. <laughs> Mind you, if I sit in my interior, I'll disappear at the moment with the blue and the red. <laughs> I've still got blue door cards. Oh, pardon me. So, the last thing in the box, although the box is on the floor. Dun dun dun! Well, there's four of them. So, I'll give you two guesses. Actually, I think you only need one. <laughs> one guess. I'm hoping these are good. I've been told they, will, they are good. So they better be. I'm going to need scissors again. Actually, bear with, and I'll get an old one, and we'll compare them. Oh, I'm getting too old for this. <sighs> More tea. I've dug a few things out of my cupboard, actually. I'll show you. Right. First thing I was going to show you, just before I unwrap the four watsits, my... One of my bosses, I've got, in my job, I've got my uh, performance leader, which is like my manager. And then there's another local team manager, uh, performance leader, who um, I can ring if I've got any problems as well. A bit like a duty manager sort of thing. He very kindly picked up a badge for me. The reason being he got me this badge is because um, he had said he wanted this certain AA badge for his van and uh, I managed to get hold of one for him and I gave it to him for Christmas so this Christmas he got me a badge and I hadn't said anything but he knew I got the P4 so he got me a row P4 Drivers Guild grill badge so uh, yes, I'm, I, I say I might, I will put this on the grill of Jesse J at some point. Um, yeah, so I'm very chuffed for that. Thank you, Rob, if you're watching. I'll get that on there one day. Once I've sorted that rusty screw out. So that was in the cupboard, so I dug that out. The other thing in the cupboard, well, there's the old one of the new ones, and I'll, I'll show you that. Right, let's open the new one. So I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't looked. Feels good. Does that, you know, does that make sense? Oh, okay. It's different. I'm not going to say wow, but it's different. It's, yeah, you know, for the price, I think it's fair. Let's have a look. Not bad. Okay, so this is the original. This is the badge, centre badge, out of a Rover P4. Um, I don't know what models these were fitted to. But mine's a 100. Uh, these are out of the hubcaps, centre badges. So you have this, which is completely plastic, that goes inside a chrome bezel. I can get it in there. That goes inside the chrome ring and it has a little rubber sort of gasket behind it. And then the four prongs go through the hubcap. Actually, I have a hubcap in my hallway. I'll go and get it.
Le hubcap. <laughs> so, see, it's got the four prongs, and that'll go push in there. And when the little prongs come through the back of the hubcap, you fold them over, and that keeps it in place. So, the P4 Club do remanufactured centre badges. Uh, minus the chrome, so you have to keep your old, old bezels or get older some new ones or re-chrome yours. They've had these remanufactured, so here is one of the new ones. It's very different to the original. Um, I think the most different thing I can say about it, I guess, is the paint because it's been painted with a sort of like a, a satin silver it's not a chrome whereas I think the originals had chrome sort of very shiny like a chrome plating I'll show you them together see how close I can get can't see with this proxy light look let me try turning the light off. Hang on. Oh, it's dark. <laughs> Let's try this. So you can make your mind up on what you think about that. Oh, flipping it. I'll tell you what, that is bright. So, yeah, I've got four of these remanufactured uh, centre cap badges. So I'm going to put these on Jessie and I'm going to take Jessie's old caps off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the old paint off. I've got a friend, I say a friend, he's, it's his business, doing soda blasting. And I'll get him to blast all the paint off the back of the badge. And then I'm going to try repainting them. As long as they're not all crazed and scratched up too much. I'm going to try repainting the old badges just to see what sort of finish I can get off of them. And then um, I'll have a spare set of badges. Maybe I'll sell one lot. I don't know. But to be fair, I'm looking at them down here on the bed. And uh, they do look great. They do look a lot better than that old manky one. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be sort of, what, five foot down there on a hubcap you're not really gonna sort of uh, look closely at it and you're not gonna go oh, they're not original uh, you might do but I'll just pop this one in here so you can see it in a hubcap with all my fingerprints on it Yes, it's a it's a rubbish hubcap. This is just a spare hubcap that I picked up off eBay. I'm just going to keep it as a spare because I'm always paranoid that one's going to come flying off and I'm going to have one missing. So I've got a hubcap for each of my cars hanging up in the garage just in case. So yes, I am pleased with that. And whilst we're on the subject of um, hubcap badges, these are all great. They have been painted very well. So Jessie's hubcaps at the moment have got tatty old badges on. Some of them are good, like okay, but some of them are just rubbish. So I bought these to go on instead, which are very nice. I'm happy with those. I think they were... I shall, I shall tell you how much I paid for them. 
so you can make your mind up then if you want to join the club <laughs> um where are we now so the hubcap center badges it says it's for the models 80 95 100 and a 110 i think they were on the p5 as well i'm not sure they are 14 pounds each they are and I think that's a fair price for what they are because it's a big it's a big hard chunk of plastic and yeah they, they look good quality I think 14 pounds each quarter light seals but we're only a tenner only a tenner each I think that's a bargain and they look good quality they're shaped as well um Oh, it says here the grill badge was eighteen pounds. I thought it was cheaper than that, but still, eighteen pounds—that's nothing, is it? They do all sorts of things: key rings, mugs, binders, stickers, wallets, tool bag, shopping bag. Tie. Got to have a P4 tie. I nearly bought a P4 um, scarf they sell. Silk scarf, that's it. I'd like to see one of the jackets. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Jesse has these hubcap centre badges. Now, I like these. These, I think, are copper. I might be wrong, they might be brass. I'm rubbish at telling what metal's what. Um, but I like these. Now, these originally, apparently, they were painted black. The backgrounds were black. Enamel. I don't know about the Rover badge. I don't know if that was coloured. I imagine the lettering was painted in black. But as for the rest of it, I'm not sure. But I just like them like that, all polished up. And it, and it fits. And people are going to cringe at this if they're purists. Sorry. But it fits. And they do line up because I've had it in here already. There we go. It fits in Jessie's hubcaps. I, I like I like them. Now these were on a different model, I guess, or perhaps just an earlier type. The hubcaps were completely domed, chrome domed, and these sort of sat almost prominent on the uh, centre. Whereas these are sunk down, but this just sat prominent. Um, and I like those hubcaps. I like the, the chrome dome with, with that in the middle. But I just I haven't seen any come up. And I know if I put them on, Jesse, someone's going to go, oh, but they were just on the 75s or something, you know. But I do like those. I've got two of these. And I don't know, I'm, I'm tempted to put two on one side of the car and two of these on the other side and see if anyone noticed. Or maybe have like a winter set and then the summer set. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's what was in my box today. <laughs> Not that exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm happy about my clothes and I'm happy about my caps. I like the pen, the seals I wanted. All right, that's great for a tenner. All shaped, all the bits cut out for the hinges and things. Yes. Well, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't bore you too much looking at me uh, hubcaps. <laughs> Sorry, I could I couldn't resist. I could I could do that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.